Alright, welcome to Cave Story. This is a game I've wanted to LP for a rather long time, and I'm getting around to it, finally, after having done Carol Blaster. Now, this is Cave Story Plus. It's not the original version that you could get for free. I don't know exactly how much this costs right now, because frankly, I got it in a humble bundle a long time ago. But I'm going to do something a little bit differently this Let's Play. First of all, I'm going to be playing with the remastered music and the new graphics. Now, I know some people might not like those choices, but I've never played through the game with these two things before. I've only ever played through in the original game. So it's fair enough that I think I will want to experience these new things and let other people who may have also not experienced the new things experience the new things. I will now stop saying experience the new things. Uh, but yeah. Now, I'm having to record this in 2560 by 1440 at 60 FPS because the game does not scale properly at lower resolutions than this with the sharp screen scaling. You can change that to smooth, which I'm not going to do because I might change the video mode and perhaps I'll stop recording, but on smooth it will fit the window perfectly every time, but everything will be blurry. And sharp, the only way I can get it sharp and above 1080p is at 2560 by 1440. That's the only way I can manage it. So that's how I'm recording it, and it seems to be keeping up at 60 FPS perfectly fine. So, done. Now the other thing I'm going to be doing differently is this. If you know Cave Story, you know who this Curly person is. And I'm going to be playing as Curly. Now, I had to do some preparation work in order to unlock this mode, because to unlock this mode... Spoilers here, I'm going to add a timestamp in the top left corner to skip after the spoiler in case you don't want to see it, so... There's your warning! Are you still here? Are you skipping? Gonna see it now! Okay, right. Basically, I had to get to the sand zone and get into the room where you first meet Curly. And where you have the little fight with her, and then you, then you go in the save room, and I'm sure you probably know this, but you have to get her panties in that room in order to, um, in order to unlock Curly mode here. Which is what I've done. And end spoiler. Are you back? Did you miss the spoiler? Did you not want to hear it? Okay, I'm glad you missed it then. Basically, Curly story. Because I've never played through as Curly Brace before, and I'm going to do so right now. Someone's transmission. Connecting to network. Logged on. Starting IM chat. Sue? Are you there? It's me! It's Kazuma! Hello, Kazuma! I was somehow able to escape, but I got lost. Well, that's not very good. I'm in a shelter without anything inside. If you're reading this, please answer. I will speed through the dialogue like that, because it, it frankly, it's too slow otherwise. Please? All right, here we are in the start point room. I don't know why it's called that, but it is. And I am Curly Brace. Look at me, I'm cute. I've, I'm wearing pink. Now, I'm going to go over the basic controls very roughly. You jump, you press down to interact with things in the background, be it the save points there or the door up there. And that's basically it. And there is also a button for shoot, but I've got no weapon yet. So I cannot shoot things dead. This refills your hearts and life. Your hearts and life. Your life and something else I'm not going to say yet, because we don't have them yet. And this is the save point. Yes, I do want to save. So I've now saved. Now, you see there's water down there. If I go in there, I begin to drown. I would rather not drown, so I'm not going to stay in that water. I'm going to jump up here and get out of this door. It looks like there's something in that wall to the right secret there, but I don't think there is. In fact, is there? There might be added secrets in this version that I'm not aware of. Now, for those of you who do know Cave Story, I'm going to work towards getting the the best slash good ending. And I'm sure you know what that entails, so... Yeah, feel pity for my non-existent soul. These are bats. These will hurt you. So I'm going to get this heart container. A life capsule, sorry. I'm saying heart container, it's a life capsule. Max life increased by three. These will increase your maximum life by various amounts. Some do three, some do five, and I don't think there's anything else other than that. Oh, there's a jumpy guy down there. He, he, he jumps and tries to jump, jump you. I'm not going to let him, though, because I want to get over here. And avoid drowning in the water. I'm drowning in the water, oh no. 
<laughs> okay, now let's get into this room here. Oh no, I'm stuck. Good. <laughs> Have a look around here, see if there's any secrets, because you've got to check for secrets everywhere in games like this. Games like Knit, like Knit Stories, like Carol Blast, like Cave Story here, there are secrets everywhere. So be vigilant. Now, one thing I will say... Oh, what was I going to say? I've forgotten what I was going to say, so I will continue through this door. Ah, that's right. I have a cup of white tea here with, with which to sort of calm my throat, because my throat has been very strange lately. And a nice hot, non-creamy liquid is good for the throat, I believe. Who's this guy? That, that's a snoring sound, apparently. That is a snoring sound. I don't know why I'm doing that with my throat and everything. Open the treasure chest. Obtain the polar star! I've got a polar star now. Someone's transmission. Searching for Sue. One Sue found! Yay! We found Sue! Sue! Answer me! They're looking for you! Are you asleep or what? Your brother is so lonely. Oh, he's lonely and he's looking for his sister Sue. So now we have a gun. I can shoot with this button. I'm using a PlayStation controller with the uh, X input emulation, so that button is square. And jump is X. Just so you know. We can shoot left and right, we can shoot up, and we can shoot down by jumping and holding down and tapping shoot. Like that. Now, it's not like Carol Blast where you can just continue shooting in that direction and walk that direction. You will change direction, so it's a bit more difficult to aim and keep shooting and moving in that way. Which is good and bad, because it's more of a challenge. Okay, so I'm going to kill all these guys. Now, those little yellow triangle things are experience that you get for leveling up your gun. That you get to level up your gun. And you pick them up, and you can see the little... The, the lethal... <laughs> the lethal... <laughs> The little bar under the gun that says level 1 right now, above the hearts, is the current experience level. But as I pick more of these up, that bar will fill up, and eventually it'll hit level 2, and then level up, continue leveling up. That is, that gives you one heart, that's fairly obvious, I think. So we're going to get this experience. Now, the main thing that happens with experience in this game is when you get hit, you also lose, you lose heart, but you also lose some weapon experience, which is a bit bad, because some enemies can really hurt you, and they really knock a lot of experience off your gun, and sometimes you can even, like, knock it down on an, an entire level. Which you don't want. Because the higher the level, the more powerful, of course. I'm gonna kill that guy. Let's go to this door. That door looks evil. If we touch that, it's gonna hurt. I believe it actually shoots projectiles at you as well. You're not gonna shoot me? I could have sworn it shot projectiles at you. Ah! But we got level 2 of the Polar Star, which basically shoots further and does twice as much damage or something, I believe. So let's head in this door. Come on, Sue! Type something, will you? Starving over here. I'm so hungry that, that I even ate a cockroach. Lol, just kidding. <laughs> He's just kidding. He said lol. But just so you know, if I get to that point, I'll do it. Give me the key! No way! I, I'm not going to try to do voices, because it'll just embarrass everyone involved. Are you trying to protect that Sue girl? She's an outsider. Sue's a good person. I won't betray Sue. Toroko? The next time the doctor shows up, someone else will be taken away. If Sue isn't turned in, you could be in danger. But, but... Just hand over the key! And I fell down and promptly killed that guy on the left. He's now dead. Dead. Oh, no, he's not dead. That's a spoiler. <laughs> what? You're not an enemy? I thought you were one of them. No way, I'm a good guy. What's your name? My name is King. I'm the number one in this village. Though I say number one, it doesn't really mean much. There are only six of us left in the village. Well, really, including Sue at seven. But she's not one of us. She's just an outsider that came into our village. Okay. Now, the main difference with Curly Brace mode is, in some dialogue, she will speak to the NPCs, like we saw there. 
Now, when you're playing as in the original mode without being Curly Brace, as I don't want to say his name in case it's, d d you consider it a spoiler, but if you're playing as the other character, then you're mute. You're, you're complete mute. You don't say anything the entire game. And I've not seen any of the Curly playthrough, so I don't know exactly what she's going to say at various points or how it will change things, if at all. I'm hoping it won't change things much, <laughs> to be frank, but we will see how it goes. So, can we talk to him anymore? That Toroko. She took advantage of the commotion and escaped. Oh, what a shame. She escaped. You were, you were sounding mean. Shoot you. Now, here is a save room. Let's go in and save. I don't need to refill my heart, so I shall just save. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I will, I mean. What's this? Up Yamashita Farm, left reservoir, right cemetery, and down Arthur's house. So to the right here is this cemetery. And there looks to be a guy guarding it. Mimiga Cemetery, currently closed due to hazards. The name is Jack. I'm the number two in the village. Beyond here is Mimiga Cemetery. There, our hero Arthur rests eternally in peace. That's great, but why are you standing in front of this door? Good question, Curly. Why? Well, mushrooms I'm taking have taken over Mimiga Cemetery. So I'm keeping watch to make certain they don't come into the village. That's a good job. Thank you very much. Now, what's this house? Assembly Hall. Let's have a look in here then, shall we? What's this? There looks to be some things on it. Can I check these pots? I cannot. Can I check this fire? Flames billow in the fireplace. There's something on the other side. Hmm, that sounds cryptic. Maybe I should try to remember that. Spoilers, there might be something on the other side. Now, we're gonna do a bit of platforming here in order to get up here and get this thing in this chest here. Open the treasure chest. Obtain the map system. Which, frankly, is not all that useful. Something's written. As long as you always maintain a sense of exploration, you will someday find the way out. This is my hope. I don't know what that means. But basically, I can now press what is the share button on the PS4 controller to view a map of the entire area we're in. Now, can you see my cursor? Oh, yeah, you can see my cursor. It's a little yellow, little yellow, little white dot. Up there is where we came down and fell in the middle of those two there, King and Taroko. That's where we fell, that's where we came down from. Just remember that, because we may be heading back up there someday. We may be. And there is the cemetery, there's Yamashita Farm, there is Arthur's house, and there is the reservoir entrance over there. Just so you know where everything is. Now, I don't think there's much point in going in that house there just yet, so let's go and check out the reservoir. In fact, actually, let's check out Yamashita Farm. Ooh, no, let's talk to this guy. Mmm, gulp. Hello. Jeez, you scared me. Sorry about that. I was wondering, do you know somebody named Sue? Sue? Oh, you mean the girl staying at Arthur's house, right? She lives together with Toroko. That girl's a real cutie. She must be looking for flying dragons. Wonder if there really is such a thing. Dragons that fly in the sky. Yeah, I'm sure there's no such thing as dragons. Never. Not in a game with little white rabbit people like you. Seriously, he's a little rabbit. He's a cutie. <laughs> Alright, let's get to the reservoir, which conveniently has a bit of water outside of it. A bit of foreshadowing. That's not foreshadowing, what am I saying? Reservoir. Let's go in here. Is there anything up here? There is nothing up here. That's a shame. Oh no, I'm falling in the... Jump. Jump. There's a fish in the water. Ooh, and there's something sparkly. Let's talk to this guy. Well, you're not Sue. <laughs> yeah. No, but I know who she is. That cute girl who's always hiding inside Arthur's house, right? She recently came to Mimiga Village. She fell into the reservoir there. I don't think she's very fond of us. It seems like she hates everyone in the village, but she's a Mimiga. Same as the rest of us. Hmm. So she fell down that hole then, did she? Doesn't look like there's an opening up there. I bet there is. I bet it's a door or something. So let's dive in this water and get whatever this is. Something shines brightly. Obtain the silver locket. I'm sure this will have no use at all. Now let's kill this fish in case it tries to hurt us. Now we cannot swim. 
We can only jump in the water and we do indeed drown. Ooh, Taroko! Wah! That was my impression of Taroko. <laughs> Let's get out of here.